Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Nancy Sun, and it's time for easy news on ICRT. In Taiwan, the Taiex opened up 24 points this morning from Friday's close at 8,201 on turnover of 1.4 billion NT. The Minister of Foreign Affairs issued a statement one hour one hour ago concerning ties with the Gambia, with officials saying the Ma administration has now officially severed ties with the West African nation. According to the ministry, the decision to officially announce a severance of ties with the Gambia is aimed at safeguarding national dignity and President Ma Ying Jeou's principles of flexible diplomacy. The ministry says the severance of ties takes effect immediately, and ROC representative staff in the Gambia. Gambian capital have been ordered to evacuate the embassy. Gambia announced it was cutting ties with Taiwan last Friday. Law enforcement officials say they seized 229 kilograms of heroin from a cargo plane at Taoyuan International Airport yesterday and made several arrests. The seizure is being described as the largest drug bust in Taiwan in the past two decades. Police say the aircraft was searched shortly after it landed at 3:20 a.m. and discovered to be carrying 600 bricks of the drug, worth an estimated 9 mil- 9 billion NT, hidden in audio equipment shipped from Vietnam. Seven suspects, including a man believed to be the head of the operation and several warehouse workers, were arrested. KMT lawmaker Alex Tai says he plans to travel to Malaysia today to get information about Taiwan tourist Chang An Wei, who was reportedly kidnapped last Friday from Pom Pom Island off Sabah in Borneo. According to Tai, he has information that Malaysian officials say Chang An Wei may still be alive. And is being held on a small island on the border of Malaysia and the Philippines. Tsai hopes to meet with Malaysia's prime minister to request his help in keeping the hostage safe. Chang reportedly survived a shooting last week on Pom Pom Island. However, her male travel companion Shu Lin Ming was found dead. In international news, a plane has crashed at an airport in Kazan, Russia, yesterday, killing all 50 people on board. The Boeing 737 was trying to land after taking off from Moscow, but exploded on impact. Officials say there were 44 passengers and six crew members on the Tatarstan. Airlines flight. Investigators are now looking at whether the crash was caused by the plane's crew or a technical problem. Among the dead are a son of the president of the Rus- Russian Republic of Tatarstan and the head of Tatarstan's branch of the Federal Security Service. The victims also included two children. In Egypt, gunmen shot and killed a high-level national security officer in Cairo yesterday as he headed to his office. Officials say gunmen opened fire on a car carrying Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Mabrouk, killing him near his home in eastern Cairo. Mabrouk worked in a government branch in charge of monitoring Islamist groups, including the Muslim Brotherhood. He is one of the most senior security officers to be targeted and killed in Cairo since Islamist President Mohammed Morsi was removed from power in July. Meanwhile, in breaking news, also from Egypt, the BBC reports that at least 20 people were killed when a train crashed into a minibus and other vehicles south of Egypt's capital. The train hit the vehicles at a crossing about 40 kilometers from Cairo. An investigation is underway. Amnesty International says migrant workers building Qatar's FIFA World Cup 2022 stadiums face poor working conditions. The human rights group says migrant workers work in dangerous conditions and are given poor accommodation. They are also often not paid. Some migrant workers were threatened with penalty fines, deportation, or loss of income if they did not show up to work, even though they were not being paid. AI says one manager had referred to the workers as animals. Qatari officials have not yet commented on this latest report. And in the U.S., a fast-moving storm system that produced at least one tornado in Illinois threatened some 53 million people across 10 midwestern states yesterday. The storm was spotted about 230 kilometers southwest of Chicago. The city of Washington, Illinois, was severely damaged, with buildings broken down and cars overturned. Emergency crews are responding to reports that people are trapped in buildings. And now, looking at the weather across Taiwan, according to the Central Weather Bureau, we can expect partly clear skies in the north, center, and south, with a high of 19 in Taipei and a high of 23 in Taichung and a high of 26 in Gaoshong. Current temperatures now: Taipei 19, Taichung 20, and Gaoshong 23. 
That's it for easy news today. Remember, you can download a slower version of the news as well as a transcript with Chinese explanations on our website www.icrt.com.tw. Just look for easy news.